This is FAIR TV. I'm Janine Jackson. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's traffic jam scandal continues to make headlines. One of the oddest parts of this odd story is how some in the National Press Corps, which has been rather fond of Christie, are now wondering whether maybe, just maybe, he might be branded as a bully. From the New York Times, what once seemed like a refreshing forcefulness may come off as misguided bullying. And USA Today, Christie said he knew nothing about the plot, but it could sour his national image as a tough-talking, problem-solving pragmatist into that of a partisan bully. It's the kind of reporting that prioritizes image management over reality. Christie doesn't run the risk of being seen as a bully, since it seems well established that he is one. Even odder than this focus on perception over information was Fox pundit Britt Hume's attempt to explain it. <laughs> so what about this bully narrative? Well, I would have to say that in this sort of feminized atmosphere in which we exist today, um, guys who were masculine and muscular like that in their private conduct and kind of old-fashioned tough guys um, run some risks. Feminized? <laughs> feminized. Atmosphere. By which you mean? By which I mean that men today um, have learned the lesson the hard way that if you act like a kind of an old-fashioned guy's guy, you're in constant danger of slipping out and saying something that's going to get you in trouble and make you look like a sexist or make you look like, like you seem thuggish or whatever. That's, that's the atmosphere in which he operates. This guy is very much a, a, an old-fashioned, masculine, muscular guy, and there are political risks associated with that. Maybe it shouldn't be, but that's how it is. Moving on. French President Francois Hollande is deeply unpopular. He held a press conference to announce a dramatic turn to the right, embracing austerity economics to shake things up. But his economic plans are not what some in the U.S. media are talking about. No, they were reporting from France about Hollande's love life. Reports have surfaced linking him to a French actress. And to hear CBS Evening News tell it, the French public is not happy. The saga has tested the French myth that interest in politicians stops at the bedroom door, says American living in Paris, Daniel Grau. They're all totally humiliated. I mean, humiliated. The, the, humiliated. The, up, the, uh, the, the elite French, the educated French, is totally humiliating for them. It, 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 they feel like they're living in Italy. It's a bit strange to ask an American what the French are thinking, but CBS correspondent Mark Phillips is sticking with his story that the president's personal affairs are the real news. Francois Hollande may have chosen to stonewall on his personal issues, preferring to deal with France's economic ones, but there's a connection, Scott. In order to get his economic plan through, he has to appear politically strong, and with the drama in his personal life, he doesn't. The problem with that justification is that the French public overwhelmingly think his personal life should be private. And, as the New York Times noted, although the international media from Tuesday's news conference dealt with Mr. Hollande's affair with an actress, those in the French news media on Wednesday were focused on his economic plans. Maybe the U.S. press could take a tip. And finally, the editor's note in the January 27th issue of Time magazine begins, I don't know anyone who's in a hurry to start the 2016 presidential campaign. Well, two cheers for that. Indeed, speculation about a race two years away is of negligible value and can't help but crowd out other current stories, as well as narrow the public's expectations about what issues the campaign might engage and who might be included. But hold on a minute. The editor's note was just a way of introducing the cover story, which is about Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign. And with a cover that depicts a high-heeled shoe and a tiny man hanging off the edge, no less, which elicited serious criticism from across the blogosphere. Corporate media campaign coverage, starting earlier than usual, but just as bad as ever. Thanks for watching Fair TV.